this problem we have a nonlinear system of equations and we have to find the solutions. So there's a couple ways to do this. I think maybe we should try to do it with what's called the addition or elimination method. So the way that works is basically you multiply one equation by a number and then add it to another equation. Let's maybe multiply the first one by negative one and add it to the second one. And when we do that, what will happen is that the y squareds will cancel and so will the 49. So multiplying the first equation by negative one, we're gonna have negative x squared, negative y squared equals negative 49. Okay, so just putting a negative on each term. And now let's go ahead and add uh, these equations. When you add here, these will cancel, and then you'll just get negative 5x minus x squared, right? Because it's this plus this, this plus this, and then this plus this is zero. This is pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and uh, just to make it simple, let's uh, divide, whoops, let's divide everything by uh, negative one. So we have 5x plus x squared equals zero, right? We can do that just by dividing each piece by negative one. And let's write it like this, just because it looks better. x squared plus 5x equals zero. And then we can actually just factor out an x. So x parentheses, x plus five, and that's equal to zero. Whenever you have a product equal to zero, you set each factor equal to zero. So x is zero, or x plus five is zero. And then here in this case, we subtract and we get negative five. So these aren't answers. These are not the answers. These are just x values. The answers to this problem are ordered pairs. So now we have to take these x values and uh, plug them back in to find the y values. I'm gonna go ahead and write down the system of equations again down here. So we had x squared plus y squared equals 49. That was the first equation. And the second one was y squared minus 5x equals 49. So it was y squared minus 5x equals 49. And our two x values were x equals, um, let's see, what were they, uh, zero? and x equals negative five. Now, there is a possible issue here. You see, no matter uh, which equation we use, um, we're gonna end up with y squared. And so we're gonna have to take the square root of y squared. That means we're gonna get two possible answers. So uh, it's a good idea to check both, just to make sure that uh, everything uh, is okay. But it should work, I think they'll both work. But let's do x first. So when x is zero, let's say we use the first equation. So you would get zero squared plus y squared equals 49. So y squared equals 49. Taking the square root on both sides, we get y equals plus or minus seven, the square root property. So we have two answers based off of this, zero comma seven and zero comma negative seven. Let's just briefly verify that it will work also in the second equation. And again, the reason I'm doing this is just because you're at least supposed to mentally do it, but the fact that there's y squareds in both is a reason for caution. Like sometimes you'll get an answer that will only work in one. Like you'll get negative, and seven, negative seven and 17, you'll get another answer over here and it won't work. Um, okay, so let's plug in zero here. We should get the same thing. y squared minus five times zero equals 49, y squared equals 49, okay, same thing, we're just gonna get a plus or minus seven, so no issues. Let's check when x is negative five. Again, let's plug it into the first one, so we would get negative five squared plus y squared equals 49. So 25 plus y squared equals uh, 49. Subtraction 25, Tracking 25 will give us y squared equals 24. Taking the square root gives us y equals plus or minus, and then it'll be a square root of four times square root of six. So it'll be y equals plus or minus two square root six. Did that pretty quickly. Um, when you're trying to simplify the square root of 24, you wanna think of what is the largest factor of 24, which you can take the square root of and get a whole number, so four. So I did that here and got this. So you have two more possible answers here, negative five, two square root six, and then negative five, negative two square root six. 
And again, just, just to be cautious, let's try negative 5 in the second equation. And it's going to work. So in the second equation, you get this equals 49. And then so you get this equals 49. And so you get y squared equals 24. Yep, it looks okay. There are rare situations, again, where um, it, it, will, it won't work in both. Most of the time when you do these problems, you just pick one. Again, the only reason I was a little bit worried was because we had y squareds. Okay, A lot of times, one of them is squared and one of them isn't. So you just pick the one that isn't squared and it's good. It's just when they're both squared like this, you need to have some extra caution. Anyways, this would be the uh, set of solutions. All of these would form the solution set. I hope this problem has been helpful.